Good evening viewers at home. Uh, we would like to welcome you uh, in this session this evening where we will be dealing with the lesson number 11. It is titled From Battle to, to Victory. And just before we, we read our memory text, I'm going to ask Brother Karabo to, to pray for us um, so that we plunge into, into this, to this evening study. Come and tabernacle with us in the study, eternal Father. We pray that God, the Holy Spirit, may inspire us, speak to us and through us, bless us and bless the viewers at home. May your power rest in the study, Lord. We depend on you right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen. 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 Once again, I greet you in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And thank you so much for joining us this evening. On my left, I've got Brother Kawe. And on my right, I've got uh, Brother Karabo Mute. We will be dealing with this wonderful uh, uh, chapter in Daniel, Daniel chapter 10. This week's sermon, uh, rather lesson, is titled From Battle to Victory. So, I mean, the imagery is one of war mm. or is one of a fierce battle. Yes, um, but there is a silver lining at the end of the tunnel mm -hmm. because as we move from battle, then we go on to victory. Yes, sir. The memory text is, is quite a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's found in Daniel chapter 10, verse, verse 19. Uh, it, it reads as thus, O men greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you, be strong. Yes, be strong. I mean, if you follow the text, these are the words of, of Gabriel, yes, sir. the angel who stands in the presence of the Lord, mm -hmm. who, by the way, took the place of, of Lucifer, who was the chiefest of, of angels. And when he was deposed from heaven, following that, law, that war that broke out in heaven, and he was defeated by Michael and chased out, then Gabriel was selected to stand on, on, on his behalf. Mm. And then he comes bearing good news here because he says to Daniel, O man greatly beloved of God. Daniel is in prayer. He has fasted. He is praying for God's deliverance and he, he, he can see or, or feel that the answer to his prayer has been delayed, but he still persists in prayer. And thinking of James here, that a prayer of a righteous man yes, availeth much. Yes. And the prayer of Daniel <laughs> avails much yeah. Yeah. because God sends, sends this angel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just before it gives him an answer, uh, Gabriel must start on this one, you know, bringing beautiful news of validation oh. from the throne of God. And he says to him, when God looks at you, he sees a man that is greatly beloved. Because Daniel so lived such that, you know, he lived like, like, like Enoch pleased God, whereas he walked on this, on this corrupt world. Therefore, God gives him that guarantee that you are greatly beloved of God because he was found to be in harmony with the will of God, which is found in the law of God. And yes. guarantees him to say, fear not. Hmm. And many times when we fear in this life, and the message of hope comes. I will never leave you, no, nor forsake you. Yeah. Mm. And Daniel, in his at his hour of, of need, the Lord had not had not had not forsaken him. The ruler of Israel had not had not left Daniel and I mean Daniel alone. Peace be unto you. And he pronounces peace. Mm. And this is the type of peace that surpasses all understanding. Yeah. 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 That peace which is outlined in the book of Isaiah 26, verse 3. Yes, sir. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace uh -huh. whose mind is stayed in thee because he trusted in you. So he gives, he grants him this peace. Moreover, he gives him a message of, of hope and a message of assurance and, and asks him to be strong. Almost repeats that, that, that thought. Be strong, yes. Be strong. I mean, I always say that God does not waste his ink Whenever he, whenever, whenever he, he, he repeats something, yes, it is also worth of note yeah. to us upon whom the ends of the world have come. That whatever temptation, whatever bitter test that we could be, we, we could be going through and undergoing, we've got to be strong. Yeah, yeah. Yes. be strong yes. because victory, brethren, is, yeah. is, 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 is guaranteed. Moreover, 
uh, our role model, Jesus Christ, came and overcame. Yes, Therefore, by having faith in his victory, we can also yeah. overcome whatever type of, of temptation we, 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 we may encounter, whatever battle we may be, we may be, we may be going through, victory is, 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 is guaranteed. So, brethren, almost what, what, what Christ does here for, for Daniel is almost to undrape a curtain oh. and show him that beyond his prayer, and beyond the delivery of the answer to, to his prayer, there is a war waging behind behind the scenes. Yeah. And in the Adventist parlance, we call this the great the great controversy. Yes, sir. It is the cosmic war that is being waged by both the powers of, of light and powers of darkness. Of, of, of darkness. Between this war is rage is raging between good and and, and evil. Mm -hmm. This war it is it is being fought in the hearts of men. There is no neutral ground here. Mm. All of us yeah. are part of this battle, and daily by our choices we do demonstrate which side are we on mm. of this of this of what this of this like? battle. And I like what Paul says here. In the book of Second Thessalonians 2 verse 9, it says, He will work, referring to the devil, he will work with all power, signs, and wonders. Mm -hmm. It does appear that in this war, battle, cosmic conflict that rages on, some of the tools of, of the devil include signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. Basically, it can be summed up as to deception. Deception. So he's using, he's using, he's using de de deception. Mm -hmm. But those whose minds dwell upon the truth of the Lord, they cannot be, cannot be, sh cannot, they cannot be shaken. Yes, so we find Daniel here praying, he's soliciting an answer, and God shows us that beneath what we see on a day-to-day -day basis, mm. there's actually a battle that is, that is, that is, that is raging. Mm. But a, he assures us of, 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 of victory. That uh, I mean, it's 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 there written in in Hebrew in Hebrews thirteen verse thirteen verse five. I will never leave you, no, 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 forsake you. And Matthew twenty eight verse twenty then says, uh, "Lo, I am with you oh, well. until the ends of the the battle may rage if it must, oh. but God will not will not will not leave us." Mm. And it's quite beautiful the way the way he captures it in Exodus fourteen verse fourteen. The Lord will fight for you. Oh. And he shall what? He shall hold your peace because this is not your battle. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is this is the, the Lord's the Lord's battle. It's a spiritual war. It's a spiritual it's a spiritual combat. Therefore, even the instruments which we ought to use as we battle against the devil are not natural yeah. natural natural instruments. In, instruments. Oh. And on Sunday, Brother Karabo, we find Daniel praying. Yes, sir. And he's fasting. Mm -hmm. Do you mind to expand uh, expand on, 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 on this for us? You know, when you, Daniel in the opening verses of chapter 10 does not necessarily give us and spell it out what he's praying for. Mm -mm. But the context of the chapter suggests that he's praying for the Hebrew mm -mm. who were released by this time from their Babylonian exile. Mm -mm. And at this time, Daniel's people are already in Palestine. Mm -mm. And Daniel is praying for them. Now, the question that came to my mind is, why pray and mourn and fast and chastise yourself, maybe in ashes and sackcloth, for a people who have been delivered from exile while you're still in exile? Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. That no, but uh, why you are still in exile, Daniel? Mm -hmm. You're still exiled from your motherland. Mm -mm. You're still under the government that oppressed you, and now you're under another one. Mm -mm. Your people are free, but you're afflicting yourself for them who are free. And when I bring it closer, when I bring it home, why, Elder Futuse, if, if I'm unemployed, I should pray for you in your employment, hmm. but I'm exiled. Mm -mm. I'm the afflicted one here, hmm. but I'm praying for the one who's liberated from my exile. Hmm. Because the Hebrews had returned home. Mm -hmm. But the prayer and the fasting is for them. Mm. And it, it kind of confused me. It kind of confused me. And if, if you look carefully, I think it's, it's in Daniel chapter 9. Mm. Daniel chapter 9, I think um, from, from verse 2. Okay. And he says there, In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood mm. by the books the number of years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, 
and that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations Mm -mm. of Jerusalem. The 70 years have terminated. Mm -mm. His people are delivered. Mm -mm. They've went back home according to the promise of this prophecy because prophecy has a promise inside. Mm. However, he remains. So that means the promise of deliverance, when we look at the text, did not necessarily apply to Daniel, but it applied to his people. Mm. And when we look at that from face value, it looks a bit mean. Mm. I'm the one who's praying. I'm the prophet. I'm the one who's faithful to God. Mm. We don't know about the condition of the other two, uh, Hebrew brethren mm. of Daniel, mm-hmm. but they get delivered and Daniel remains. Mm-hmm. And I think that teaches us a principle here. And this is this is where now we come back to chapter 10 again. It talks about intercession. Because you see, the reason for Daniel to pray for his brethren is not necessarily for his deliverance from exile, but he's interceding for his free brethren who are in Palestine. Mm-hmm. Now, the brethren who are in Palestine have problems. Like an employed person, according to our illustration, would have politics and work problems at work. At work. Mm-hmm. But as a person who's unemployed, I covet those problems. Mm-hmm. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. And... This is, this, is, this is what I find profound, mm. that regardless of his exile, Mm-mm. he's not relieved, he's not exonerated, but he's praying for those. And it tells me about the element of intercession that it looks beyond, it looks beyond your own problems and your own challenges, mm-hmm. and it intercedes for the next person. And that kind of gives us a phase of the spirit of Christ, Mm-mm. that he placed, he put himself and considered not his own life. Mm-mm. Just to save us. Mm. And another thing that we read, uh, I mean, when we read Job, Job chapter 42, verse 10, there is a principle that we find there. Job 42, verse 10, there we go. It says here, talking about Job, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job mm. when he prayed for his friends. Mm. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. You see, when God allows us in our situation to stay longer than the people mm. we were praying for relief together with, mm. it's because of he has a special blessing. Mm. It's because he has a special blessing. It was only when Job interceded for his brethren, for mm. his friends, mm. was he released from his affliction. Mm. And maybe, and not only that, but he was given twice as much. Mm. So it could be that Daniel is showing us with his situation and his intercession the principle that when you pray for others and you forget about your own problems Mm. and you pray for the deliverance of others, the deliverance of God will overwhelm you Mm. in the process. And that's just what I got Mm. from the fasting and prayer of Daniel, that Mm. it was not necessarily for himself, but it was for his brother. Mm. Great stuff. That's 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 powerful. But I wanted us to to go to Ezra, as you as you always say, um, and look textually now. Yes, sir. Why was Daniel mm. praying for the Jews who were released who were in Palestine? Okay. Because then in that text it becomes clear that they mm. were rebuilding mm. Jerusalem. Mm. Yeah. Okay. They were rebuilding the temple. Yes, sir. And they are being impeded from doing so. Mm. And Daniel hears this report that the children of God are being impeded. So he prays on their behalf yes. so that they can be released from from whatever uh, forces or powers that are preventing them from from rebuild the process mm. of rebuilding, mm. and hence he then prays for them. Let's look at uh, Ezra chapter four, and then we can read verse, verses four, verses four verses four, verses four and five. Mm. And it says, "Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah, mm. and troubled them in building. Mm. So they've gone back; they have started to rebuild. You know." city because the city lay in 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 ruins mm. for the restoration of 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 god's nation so it can continue to do to do its 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 work but as they are busy doing they're facing strong opposition mm. this is why daniel now prays mm. the samaritans mm. exactly mm. because his 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 people have been released <coughs> the 70 years or 490 years have, ex- have expired mm. go back home and rebuild the city mm-hmm. For, for your own restor- restor- restoration. Mm. But as they're busy doing this work, they are they face strong opposition. But number two, it, it then says in verse five, and, and, and these brethren hired counselors against them mm. to frustrate their purpose. Mm. So Samaritan sending false reports to the Persian court, inciting the king to stop the, rec- the reconstruction, mm. the reconstruction work. Mm. And this word is Daniel, because in the end, the glory of of judah 
you know, which 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 revolves around the rebuilding of the city, the reconstruction and 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 setting back that order so that you know Hebrews can go back where they belong and continue to do their work is being frustrated. Mm. And these are some of the reasons that why yeah. why why they <coughs> prayed and, yeah. and, and fasted. Yes, my brother, we wanted to say something. Yeah. Um, one, one thing which we must never forget is mm. that Satan is a diligent Bible student. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then if we are to consider verse 9 of chapter 9, that is the book mm. of Daniel, it says, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the prince mm. shall be seven weeks and three score and mm. two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublous times. Mm. Now, the devil is aware yes. that this prophecy has to be Fulfilled, mm. and when this prophecy has to be fulfilled, his fate is gone. Mm -mm. And now he is impeding them mm -mm. so that the temple cannot be rebuilt. Yes, sir. And remember, in this temple, mm. the prophets said it will be more glorious than the former one and moreover true worship will be restored exactly yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. so so mm -hmm. if you 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 what you have got to consider is to consider the bigger picture mm -hmm. why daniel is mourning mm -hmm. the decree has been mm -hmm. issued exactly mm -hmm. and then now but yet this city is not being built mm. and then now daniel is crying to god mm. is mourning to god mm. god why mm. which means this 2300 days is mm. not going to, to be mm. realized because this is a vivendi yes mm -hmm. I, I mean the 70 weeks are cut from this yes sir so the, the devil has that is that is aware wow. of that. Mm -hmm. wow. That's 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 that's, that's, that's very nice. good. May, maybe we, as as we move then, why why is persisting in prayer uh, paramount? Because mm -hmm. it's three weeks later. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us get weary, mm -hmm. you know, offering our penitence to God for a week, and three weeks, Daniel is mourning, mm -hmm. and still is pressing. His petition before God is not losing power yeah. until this angel then yeah. then then appears. Is 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 there any lesson there uh, that we can pick up, Karab, in terms of persisting in prayer? All right. So I was talking with a particular gentleman this morning. He was supposed to be on set, mm -hmm. and we were discussing this part. Mm -hmm. And he says most of the time when we pray to God, we want God to relieve us immediately. Mm -hmm. And what's painful is that if weeks and time passes by without our prayer being answered, mm -mm. Uh, we begin to think that God has failed us mm -mm. or God does not hear us. Mm -mm. But the prince at the time that he appears, mm -mm. he has appeared to comfort mm -mm. the prophet. Mm -mm. But maybe before I can even go there, maybe I'll leave it to the floor. When he appears to comfort the prophet, the comfort is in the assurance that we have heard your prayer. Mm -mm. Not that the prayer was not heard. The very heard. day you made it. The very day. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer it was yeah. given the very day. Exactly. Now, imagine this, Elder. Now, imagine this. I'm praying today. My prayer, my answer will come in three weeks' time. Mm. But technically, it, it came today on the first day of prayer. The answer has been delivered. Mm. But something had been happening in the spiritual realm. Mm. Mm. That Which is what I want him to go into. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something has been happening in the exactly. spiritual realm. <laughs> exactly. Ex 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 I, I like this. <laughs> because then it does show that great controversy also uh, is part of, or rather, the reason why there's a delay in some of the answers to our prayers. This can best be understood within the context of great controversy. Yes, sir. Some of these answers have been, how can I put it? Uh, prevented mm -hmm. or, 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 or delayed, or delayed mm -hmm. 
but as part of this great controversy yes, uh, uh, theme. No. No. And and this is beautifully displayed here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brother Kawa is going to take us through the, the, the vision and how this great controversy theme uh, manifests manifests in self, especially in the delay of the delivery of the answer to, to no. Daniel's prayer. Now that uh, the Daniel is mourning, is praying, Mm-mm. and before that, one beautiful thing which we are learning from Daniel is that whenever we have got a problem, whenever we have got some worries, the only thing and the first and last thing one has to do is to seek the Lord. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what Daniel did. Daniel is worried about what is happening in Jerusalem and is now seeking the Lord. Worried as he is, a man appears to comfort him. Mm-mm. And the man here is nothing other than the commander, the prince, Mm-mm. Christ himself. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. The author says this man is the man who appeared to, to Joshua. Mm-mm. This man is the man who appears to John in Revelation 1. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And is saying the word used here, sir, is the same word which means commander or mm. prince. Yes, so this is the prince Michael mm-hmm. appearing to, to Daniel mm. to comfort him. Mm. But this is mm. one thing which I love. Mm. This is one thing which I love. If you go to <coughs> verse 8, he says, Therefore, I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me. Listen to this one. For my comeliness Mm -hmm. was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no no, no strength. Mm -hmm. And it says to me, if you consider your sinfulness, and then you look at Christ, you see how much you need Christ. Mm-hmm. Because the closer you come to Christ, the, closer mm. you come to Christ mm. the more you realize how far are you. Mm. And the more you realize how far are you, the more you yearn to get closer. Mm-hmm. So you will never get closer enough. Mm. So the prince here comes to comfort Daniel. That as much as I understand that this is a warfare, be strong. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. And whenever Michael appears, he wins. Mm. This is the man who has never lost a mm-hmm. This is the man who rebuked Moses. He won. Mm-hmm. If you go to Jude 9, mm-hmm. this is the man in Revelation who says, I cast him mm-hmm. and I saw him coming down like lightning. He mm-hmm. won. And every time when Michael comes, he gives an assurance that I'm with you mm. and I will win mm. as I have won before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What uh, does this say then about uh, God's, God being in control of, of history? Because here we have a, a vision. Mm. Because Daniel is in prayer. And this vision is from this time forth until the establishment yes, sir. Of, yeah. of God's of God's kingdom. Yeah. Yes, sir. And in all the pages of Daniel, we always see that God is in charge, God yeah. is in control, yeah. God is involved in, in history. What 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 is a key takeaway from us uh, for us from, from this from this group? God being involved, being in control of, of history and him being involved in the day in the very day to day activities yes. and us seeing seeing his his, his hand should this cause us to trust in more in prophecy or is this is this a game okay so what, what um, is this on the part of um maybe making us trust more in prophecy mm-hmm. we need to understand that the word of prophecy is sure mm-hmm. and prophecy is 
at times it tells us events before they happen. Mm. And particularly with apocalyptic prophecy, mm. this is God's outline of human history. Mm. And the fact that he's giving you the outline means he's in control. Mm -hmm. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? Now, within the course of prophecy, if we are affected mm -hmm. in the history of our own lives, in the course of history, and if we are affected, we need to rest assured that the God who has given us an outline of the world and its empire and its history from mm -hmm. Daniel's time until the last days mm -hmm. is still also in control of our lives. Mm -hmm. He knows our lives also inside out. Mm -hmm. That's why also somewhere in the Bible he says, I knew you while you were forming from your mother's belly. Yes. Now God yeah. is in control of our situation. Mm -hmm. Daniel in the text was worried about the restoration of Jerusalem mm -hmm. and the people who withstood by the enemy there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the way he reveals himself to Daniel speaks of his majesty. Mm -hmm. He reveals himself as this uh, marvelous, supernatural being, which is very powerful. Daniel even says that he even had fits and seizures when he saw him. He fell on his face as mm -hmm. if into deep sleep. Mm -hmm. And when you see that, he overwhelms him with his glory. To show them that he has authority, mm -hmm. even over what Daniel is crying for in his prayer. Mm -hmm. And that is an assurance of over the history. Mm -hmm. That you see, the rebuilding of the temple is within a redemptive history. Mm -hmm. And I'm in control of that. Mm -hmm. So much so that he had to reveal himself to give the prophet an assurance. Mm -hmm. And we also have an assurance that within the course of the history of our lives, mm -hmm. if we cry to God, mm -hmm. yeah. God will reveal himself to yeah. us, overwhelm us as a person who is in control. Mm -hmm of our lives, yeah. just as is in yeah. control of history. I am I'm reminded of someone who once said, uh, the further backward we can look, the further forward we can see. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and uh, the Daniel is looking backward, what God has done. Nebuchadnezzar is gone. Mm -hmm. Some kings are gone. And you watched that. Mm -hmm. It happened before, for him. The Belta Shaza, he, he, he interpreted the, the writing on, on the wall, is gone. Mm -hmm. So now, if you look, if you trace mm -hmm. the footsteps of God backwards, you are assured of what he's going to do tomorrow. Um, I mean, one point also that is worth of pondering is the fact that the angel touches uh, Daniel three times. Oh. Touched so, by an angel. Touched by an angel. Yeah. Well, sometimes we many don't view God as a you know intimate God. Oh yes. And then we see him touching Daniel firstly to comfort him. Mm -hmm. uh, that whenever we go through dark valleys, God is there to comfort us with mm -hmm. his with his word. In fact, he even says to Isaiah. Comfort my people. Mm. What is the message yeah. of Isaiah? Yeah. Yeah. To comfort, yeah. to comfort, yeah. to comfort, yeah. to comfort yeah. God's God's people. So as much as much as I mean now now I'm coming to ministers in the pulpit, as mm. as as much as the straight testimony is is forever required, but there is also a time for straight testimony. There is also a time for comfort. Yes. <laughs> so that so that you are able always. You can't, you can't always hammer. So that we are always we are always balance. Yeah. Balance. Yeah. Balance. Yeah. Balance our our our, our discourse in mm. the in the in the in the pulpit. Mm. And 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 the second touch it says it, that enables uh, Daniel to speak. Yeah. Because God wants to. He says, "Come, let let's reason together." Yeah. Yes. He wants to talk to us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he says in Matthew seven, you know, knock. Uh, you know, seek yeah. uh, your, 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 a prayer. I mean, your uh, in answer shall be shall be shall be it, 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 it gives an image of a God who wants to know our feelings. Mm -hmm. God who wants to know us, our aspirations, mm -hmm. our dreams, and He affords us yeah. the opportunity, you know, to, to be intimate yeah. with Him. Yeah. Uh, there's also that great great hymn that says, "Tell to Jesus." Ah. Yeah. So you know, God wants to know about you. He wants to, he wants he wants to hear from you. Yeah. Um, and and then it says that the third the third touch then brings strength. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't need strength mm -hmm. in a chaotic um, world like this? We are stressed by reports from schools, uh, things that are happening. You know, the current affairs mm -hmm. really calls for for one to you know approach the throne of God so that they may obtain a, a strength like Daniel did one here. Yes, sir. Because he he fainted. And almost uh, his faith was 
was tested and needed an assurance mm -hmm. from above mm -hmm. to say an answer. So, so maybe Elder, just before we move from this part, while Daniel is still overwhelmed by the radiance of God's light and mm. his glory, mm. because he has revealed himself to him mm. in vision, um, as we said before, he fell and he was too overwhelmed and he had fits and all of that. Mm. And I love the first touch. And the first touch comforted Daniel. Mm -mm. And when we read about the first touch in Daniel chapter 10, verse 12, the angel touches the prophet mm -mm. so that the prophet can hear the words of comfort. Yes, sir. And he says, do not fear, Daniel. That's in uh, verse 12 of, of, of chapter 10, Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. That's the first touch. He says, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, mm -hmm. and I have I have come because of your words. Mm -hmm. And that's comfort right there. Mm -hmm. When you pray to God and days pass by, you want to hear that God heard you mm -hmm. from the very first day that you prayed to him. Mm -hmm. And the first touch is that assurance that, no, we heard you. Mm -hmm. And your words were heard from the very first day that you uttered them. Mm. But let's let's learn more about the second touch, mm. and which enabled Daniel now to speak at that point. He had prayed. Uh, uh, the master had come to assure him that he was heard mm. and to also comfort him. But now the second touch is to listen to Daniel at that point in time, mm. how he feels, mm. his mm. emotion. Because we worship an immanent God, mm. a God who is close to us, mm -hmm. a God who does not say, I'm here to answer prayer, you answer, uh, you, you, you sit three weeks back. Yes. But I'm also concerned in listening to how you feel right now. Mm -hmm. And listen to, to verse 16 and 17. He says, my Lord, because of the vision, this is Daniel. My Lord, because of the vision, my sorrows have overwhelmed me and I've returned, retained no strength. For how can this servant of my Lord talk with you, my mm. Lord? As for me, no strength remains in me now, nor is, is any breath left in me. So God does not only uh, answer our prayers. He wants to hear us speak. He mm. rejoices. He's a God who knows about what you need before you even ask it. Mm. But he just loves the experience mm. of hearing you talk to him. That intimacy. And, and I, I think <clears throat> the second touch is about that. Now you can speak. Mm. Let strength return to mm. you so you can speak mm. and voice how you feel. Mm. And then the, the, the third touch, we learned about it in verse 19 of chapter 10, which really now brings strength to the yes. prophet. Yes. Oh men, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. That's our memory text. Mm -hmm. And that's the third mm -hmm. touch. Mm -hmm. And in the third touch, the first one, he gives him an assurance that his prayer was heard and it comforts him. The second one, he listens to how he feels at the time. Mm -hmm. And with the third one, he tells him to be of, of good courage, to have supernatural divine peace, mm -hmm. that you've been heard, that heaven cares, and that, and that now we have intervened to receive peace. And I think it's good to also have peace when we go through stuff in our lives. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's quite interesting here because, I mean, we're now on Wednesday, that the very day Daniel prayed, an answer was granted. <laughs> but then what the angel then does mm. is to undrape that curtain again to show him behind the scenes wow. that whereas the answer was granted, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm so that I can go and influence King Cyrus, you know, to stop, you know, impeding, to stop with these uh, stumbling blocks and allow the children of Israel or the Jewish nation to do, to do their work. He says, I was withstood wow. <laughs> yeah. for 20 days yeah. oh. by the forces of evil, yes, sir. by the demons, powers in, 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 high, in high places, Mm. Such such that the impressions of God would not land yeah. on the heart of this king. Because, you know, demons, powers of darkness, the evil ones have blocked the heart of the king. Mm. Mm. So this is the insight now that, that the angel mm. that the angel gives mm. Mm. gives to gives to, to Daniel. That don't don't lose lose power. Answer has been given. Mm. But I struggled. Because remember. Uh, that Gabriel himself is an unfallen angel, a creature. Yes, uh, His power, therefore, is uh, limited. Yeah, absolutely. And once he could not prevail over the powers of darkness, yeah. 
Then he goes back, you know, <laughs> and appeals to his father and says, man, it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> and then God sends Jesus Christ, Amen. Michael. Yes, sir. Then he stands up, then goes and is able to defeat the powers of darkness, the devil and Satan and his forces and is able to appeal to King Cyrus yes, sir. so that the work can can yeah. can 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 continue. Yeah. I mean, yes, I love this lesson because because it says, "From battle to victory, we will battle mm -hmm. as part of the cosmic mm -hmm. conflict." Mm -hmm. But our victory is guaranteed. Yes, sir. Because yeah. our master defeated the devil in the wilderness of temptation. Yes, sir. There is this other author whom I love the most. She says, "Christ defeated the devil in the in the in the in the in the wilderness by a firm reliance upon the thus said the Lord." Mm. Yeah. Mm. It simply mm. means that also as we are part of this uh, cosmic conflict, we can only defeat him mm. by a firm reliance upon a thus, a thus said the Lord. So the mm. word of God has got, has got, has got more power. Mm. I don't know, gentlemen, if you, if, if you want, you want to add that, but victory is guaranteed yeah. Yeah. because Christ, Christ has already overcome yeah, and by, we can then participate yes, sir. in his victory yes. daily. Mm -hmm. Is it? And and the preparapongo. Uh, hence, Paul says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Yes, flesh and blood. This is a spiritual warfare, mm -mm. which is being played in the minds of men. Mm -mm. So, what is said though is that when the devil is imposing his deceptions on us, mm -mm. we are not aware. We are not aware of what is happening behind the scenes. We could only rely on thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Your favorite author mm -hmm. says, yes, sir. Christ yes, sir. is a champion even in the camp of the enemy. Uh -huh. So Christ always wins mm -hmm. even in the camp of the champion. Mm -hmm. He is a ch champion. He wins even in the camp of the enemy mm -hmm. and the, as mm -hmm. we see here mm -hmm. from battle to victory he wins mm -hmm. and he will win now brethren i think we should consider why daniel was fasting mm -hmm. daniel was fasting for his brethren mm -hmm. who 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 were which stood in palestine by the samaritans who were jealous Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the origin of why Daniel was praying, it was for his brethren in Palestine to prosper in doing what? Into rebuilding Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. However, when we come now to, to the great conflict, mm -hmm. we see that in what was happening in Palestine, there was a supernatural power behind that. Mm -hmm. That was pro prohibiting the brethren from continuing the work of reconstruction. Mm -hmm. And when the angel appears to Daniel, he talks about him being withstood by the prince of Persia. Mm. And one begins to ask himself, how can a prince, a human, mm. withstand a supernatural yeah. power, an angel, unless the angel is talking about the spirit that was operating behind the king or the prince of Persia, which was Cyrus, mm. who withstood the work of the indeed. reconstruction yeah. of the temple. Mm. In, so indeed. it's the power. It's the power it's, behind it's the that is operating. Yes, that power. is why the angel is, that's mm. why the angel, when it appears, it says, I was withstood. Mm. Yeah. for such x amount of yeah. time yeah. because of the prince of persia yeah. and we are also reminded of ezekiel chapter 28 where 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 when where, where the prophet talks about the devil yeah. he mentions him under the king of tyre yeah. and he's he's really talking about the spirit working behind the king of tyre yeah. and its origin yeah. in what happened in heaven yeah. for that spirit to find itself here yeah. and this teaches us that at times during a point of conflict there is a power that's operating yeah. behind. We do not fly to fight with flesh and blood, yeah. but we wrestle yeah. against principalities. Yeah. I'm reminded of the story of Jesus um, when he was before uh, Pilate. Mm. And Pilate asked him a question. Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus, the first thing that Jesus did was to ask Pilate if whether that question comes from him. Mm. 
Because Jesus is aware that there are some things that even when we ask or when we do, they don't originate from us. Mm -hmm. They originate somewhere else. There is another source. Mm -hmm. There is another source. Mm -hmm. And that's just what I got from the great mm -hmm. conflict, where it was showing that actually what was happening in Palestine, there was a supernatural power behind mm -hmm. it, hindering the work mm -hmm. of reconstruction. Yeah. And even if Jesus he himself was there, that Satan is the prince of this world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. That's quite clear in that verse that he came. And then it says, "He came unto me, yes. but he had nothing to in me." me. Yeah. So if you want to appreciate yeah. that, then you must also go to that author mm. that I love the most. She says when she unpacks that text, "The Prince of This World," yeah. for John fourteen thirty. Yeah, she says there was nothing in Christ that responded to Satan's sophistry. Mm. He did not yield to sin, not even by a thought. Did he yield to temptation? Yeah. Then yeah. when she ends, she says, So can it be with us. Yeah. <laughs> so the vi hence, yeah. hence, 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 I'm not moving from this one to say the victory of Christ can be real even in our lives today. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. what what he attained was on earth when he walked as 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 as, as a human being just just like just like us. Yes, that same power is accessible. To us too, mm -hmm. so that in the end we are then mm -hmm. we, we 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 are able to to overcome the devil mm -hmm. and 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 his his deceptions and, and 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 angels. It's quite critically because this great conflict then permeates all areas of our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. spiritual, family, professional. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we, we we like to think that this great conflict or great controversy is only pertaining to things that are spiritual. No, every area of our lives, yeah. the devil wants to catch us. Mm. He wants to uproot, uproot us because we are the holy seed. Mm. So he wants to do to have, to, to obliterate yeah. us yeah. if 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 it were possible. Mm. But I mean, I love Thursday because it paints Jesus Christ as a victorious yeah. prince. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like that. That text in John sixteen verse thirty three: "These things I've spoken unto you." In the world, you shall have tribulation. Yes. But be of good cheer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I've what? Conquered I have the overcome the world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go to, to to Revelation, he says, I mean, he said uh, to him that overcometh, yeah. whom him will I grant to sit with me yes. in yeah. my throne. Yeah. Even yeah. as also I am what? I have overcome. Yeah. 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 So we, we can only exercise faith or we should exercise faith in the victory of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Then this way, the victory of Jesus Christ becomes our daily and real experience. Wonderful. Because as as, as our forerunner, he he overcame. And if we want to overcome as we walk in his in his in his footsteps, we've got to believe in his victory. Mm -hmm. And his victory then day by day becomes our living, our living experience. Mm -hmm. So whatever challenge we face, we face whatever test that the, that the evil one presents presents before us we are then able to 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 overcome it is no wonder then in in hebrews 4 verse verse 16 he then yes, says yes. Uh, 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 therefore let us come boldly yeah. in the throne of what of it's grace yeah. because the world is used to this type of grace that only forgives mm. and yet the other side of grace is the one that empowers us yeah. it yeah. gives us power on a day-to-day -day basis to mm. actually live beyond sin mm -hmm. So that we're in harmony with the what? With the law mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis. I don't mm -hmm. know, gentlemen, if you want mm -hmm. to add mm -hmm. on, on mm -hmm. that. I'm looking at my time here. Amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. because <clears throat> uh, if you look at prophets mm -hmm. yes, from Genesis 3, 15, coming or <coughs> to Revelation, mm -hmm. what God is trying to do Mm -mm. is to give us the person and the character of Christ. Mm -hmm. Forget about the the animals, the bees, and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The main, main is Christ. Mm -hmm. Because Christ is going to be victorious at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And then Paul says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Co conquerors. Mm. For he says, For I am pe 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 persuaded, persuaded that okay. neither death, mm -mm. nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor mm -hmm. things present, 
in, in everything mm. we are more than conquerors, conquerors mm. in Christ let us look at Christ mm. as the song mm. says agana mm. mm. and the victory huh? of Jesus yes. the victory of Jesus is ours to claim yeah. exactly in our day to day experience the yeah. only power that is able to conquer the evil forces is mm. Jesus Christ mm -mm. who conquered the devil ultimately at the cross mm -mm. of Calvary he defeated him first in Revelation chapter 12 mm -mm. where the devil was cast out of heaven because mm -mm. he prevailed not mm -mm. defeated him again at Gethsemane mm -mm. defeated him again at Calvary mm -mm. and when we look at all these victories that the master has over the mm -mm. enemy mm -mm. we have an assurance that if we believe in him his victory is ours mm -mm. the question is do we want to access that power Exactly. Yeah. It comes down to our choices. I was yeah. I was reading um, a book that was talking about free will and mm. evil. Mm. And the author in that book says, the continuance of evil thrives on the free choice. Mm. And your favorite author, again, mm. says the devil cannot break your will mm. if you don't give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> so in order for evil to thrive, mm. you must consent. Mm. But if you give your will to God, mm. all we have to do is to give yeah. ourselves to God, our mm. weaknesses, our will to do good. Mm. God will conquer. He will apply the victory of Jesus mm. in our day-to-day -day experience. Mm. It boils down to us. Mm. With every invitation to sin, who do we choose? Do we choose Christ or do we choose the enemy? And if we choose Christ, he has power to protect mm. our will from the enemy, something that the enemy cannot break. Mm. The That's victory beautiful. is ours mm. in Christ. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm. We must just yeah. give him our will. It says, once we give him our will, he works in our will, yes. both to will mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. to do yeah. his, yes, sir. His, his, his good pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us at home. This was a beautiful lesson. Hopefully, it's given you a framework to also study the Bible mm -hmm. so that you're able then to, to, to understand all, all, all these things and why, and why they are happening. Join us again next week for lesson, lesson number, number 12. Lesson number 12 with a the theme from North and South to the beautiful land. Oh, yes. But come, maybe you can pray for us. Let's look close. Our Father, what in heaven, thank you yet again for being so kind to us. Thank you for leading us uh, in this session. We are praying that the people at home or whoever will watch this will be blessed. In thy name we are praying. Amen. Amen.